Hey y'all, what's up? It's Race here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel, everyone. Basically today, I am actually building a house I first built ever on Bloxburg. And by first build, I meant like first YouTube build. Anyways, here is the build I have. I titled this the two-person aesthetic house. It looks very decent. It's definitely more of a compact style house, which I'm not a big fan of. It came with a bathroom and a bedroom. The bedroom actually had a double bed, so that so was kind of cool. So here's kind of like the main layout of what it looks like. I'm sorry I can't get rid of like the Filmora logo. It's just there, you know. Anyway, so we're gonna have to try and like recreate- oh, it's snowing. Anyway, so we're gonna try and like recreate this in Bloxburg. So I'm gonna try and like really quickly like recreate this floor plan. So let's just get on with actually like making this look better. So as y'all know, my style has definitely changed over time of doing YouTube. I no longer have that like aesthetic -y type of vibe to my channel. Now this is kind of giving me like some nostalgia of like what this used to be like when I built in Bloxburg. Like back then I used to think like nothing of Bloxburg itself. And actually fun fact, when I first actually got Bloxburg, I didn't even play it really. I actually only got Bloxburg because some of my friends back then actually owned the game. In fact, now that I think about it, I never actually did anything in Bloxburg until until probably around this time. I bought the game and then I was like, cool, I own this game now. And then I never played it until like years later. It's kind of scary to think about that like though, with like if I never actually made that change, where would I be right now? I probably never like had the thought of becoming a YouTuber. Well, look at me now, I made a good decision. All right, now with all my ranting, how y'all doing? At the time I'm like recording this right now, I actually don't have that much time between now and my stream later today. It's kind of funny because this whole Roblox down thing is totally like messing it up. I was originally supposed to stream my building a Bloxburg house, but y'all get to like decide what the heck I do. But then Roblox hit us with the old, you know, we're not doing so well, you know. And I don't really want to risk it over stream. I know it's probably be fine by then, but I don't really want to do it. I don't know why I'm like putting this much effort into this build when I know well enough that I'm just going to delete it. Also, I think I know I have a question of the day and this is like kind of like my first ever like Bloxburg item related content question of the day. What is your favorite window in Bloxburg? I personally really like the factory windows, but a close second would actually have to be these small windows right here. I feel like I'm like, like really quiet in my recordings all the time. This may be a weird question to ask, but I'm genuinely curious. Looking back at your first ever house that you ever built in Bloxburg, if you had the choice to, would you accept it as like a plot? Would you say that is still a good looking house? For example, for me, my answer is no. I don't think my house is that good, honestly. My house is just super weird and like, yeah. All right, I think I'm now done with the kitchen area. It looks kind of actually really cute. I really like it. Now I'm gonna quickly like work on this little foyer area. It's really small to the point where like, I don't think it needs like its own like main part of building. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, we have a foyer. <laughs> All right, now onto the living room. Now what I wanna do with the living room is I want to place it in a way so it's like a formal living room almost. But it's gonna still be a normal living room because we're obviously gonna have a TV. But before we add the TV, I quickly want to add a fireplace, which I think we will add right here because then I also wanna add a chimney. that will go right about in the spot of the fireplace. Is it ugly? Yes, but is it worth it? Also yes. Now I know in one of my videos I talked about how like I don't like linen lighting and that I don't really use it. There's actually one exception for me to use linen lighting and that is mainly with just like fire, like natural like fires in Bloxburg. So for example, if I ever have like a fireplace or something, I will use linen lighting in that situation because it's used as like warm lighting, which in that case I feel like lighting would be like warm with a fireplace, which would make complete sense in my book. So I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like that's the only reason why I would do that. 
I definitely think that this house is already looking really good though. Now if you'll excuse me, I am going to be doing my favorite thing in Bloxburg. Also, I don't know why this is like something I need to like importantly like mention, but I just want to say it out loud anyways. I have so many like videos that are in the process of being edited right now. Like I think the oldest one being like last year and like don't even know actually. Anyways, uh, this is what the living room looks like. It's done, I think. Yeah, I think it's pretty much done. It's simple. It's cool looking though. I really like it. And um, yeah. <laughs> All right, this bathroom is gonna be really weirdly laid out. So I might have to like scooch this door over a little bit more. But so my plans for this bathroom. I was gonna place this sink over here. And I was gonna place a shower tub combo over there there and then place a toilet like, right there. I also always think that whenever I build like a bathroom in Bloxburg it's like never like a realistic type of thing. Like I, whenever I'm building a bathroom I never think oh this could be like somewhere I could be like in real life like no. I've always just thought like to make it look good and all that stuff. Like I just go into the bathroom and be like okay I'm gonna place this this, this and then I'm done. And then rarely sometimes I'll actually like decorate it or something. Keyword rarely. But anyways, that's the bathroom all done. Pretty simple. It gets the job done though. Um, on the bedroom. <laughs> now I want to continue this to be like a two person house. And so the first thing I think of, of like when two people want to live here is like a bunk bed. So I'm thinking that I'm going to put a bunk bed. It's not going to be like two adults or anything. And before you guys say, but race, you know, it's only for like kids. No, it's not. Like, bunk beds aren't mainly made for kids in Bloxburg. Anyone can use a bunk bed. This isn't like a big house and everything, so like, you wouldn't expect there to be like a child in here or something. They therefore mean like adults could be like in a bunk bed. Because a bunk bed definitely costs less than a queen size mattress. A queen or king size like mattress and like bed frame and stuff. <laughs> Now of course I will also add a little stuffed animal. I don't know why. I know that these are not gonna be kids obviously living in these because it's just a house. This is not even like a place where like a kid would live like unattended. I just personally like adding like little stuffed animals that are in there. Alright, and uh that's the inside done. Now it's time to do the quick exterior, which is, should not be too bad. Now I just kind of the point where I just like don't really do a lot of gardening on my builds. I just now place a bunch of random hedges around and that's really it. I don't know why, like my landscaping has just gotten like so lazy recently. It's like really weird. Alright, but I think that is kind of it with the build, really. I think it is at least. So we go inside, here we have our little like foyer area. Definitely like this custom door, I like this. I really like this living area, it's actually like very comfy and everything. Kitchen area is also very nice, I really like this as well. It's cool because you can actually just sit down and use this as like a table and everything. The bathroom, I really like this. Like this bathroom actually looks really cool. It looks really small like when the shower curtain is closed, but when you open it up it looks way more open spaced area, you know what I mean? So that's pretty good in my book. And here we have the bedroom area. Very nice, very simple. I think it's just pretty nice like for like a little simple area. Obviously a little bit of clutter, you know, just to give this place a little bit of like detail. Anyways, yeah, that's this really it for the build. Let me know if you guys want to see me renovate any more of my old houses in Blocksburg. But on that note, everyone, I hope you guys have more notice every day. I love y'all so, so much. Stay awesome, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next video, everyone. Bye, y'all. <laughs>